All right, YouTube and chat. We got some uh, wonderful McDonald's items for you today. And today we're trying something different. We're trying a delicious a dessert because we haven't done any desserts episodes yet. And today we're going to be trying Kit Kat McFlurries. We got the normal Kit Kat. We got the strawberry Kit Kat. As well as we have pies. Specifically, we have your classic hot apple pie. As well as the Sakura Mochi pie. Now let's go through the description of these items as I'm very curious to see what is in these items. So in the Sakura Mochi pie, so Sakura is like the Sakura tree, you have Mochi as well, and I guess it's a pie. So with the taste of spring is now available for a limited time. Introducing the Sakura Mochi pie, which is a full fledged cherry flavored Mochi wrapped in a pie. That sounds pretty delicious. The del classic delicious hot apple pie is also on sale. Please enjoy the crispy pie this spring. Additional details for the sakura mochi pie is we wrap the sweet bean paste and the sakura flavored mochi with a soft texture in a crispy pie. Salted cherry leaves are used for the cherry flavored mochi to give it a full fledged taste. The gentle sweetness of the bean paste complements the cherry flavored mochi. Please enjoy the taste of spring that fills your mouth. While the normal fresh apple pie only says the freshly fried golden brown color that is delicious to the eyes is attractive. Plenty of apple filling and crispy puff pastry go great together. So that's the Sakura Mochi pie and the hot apple. And while we look at the Kit Kats, the Kit Kat McFlurry says the deliciousness that spring Ichiban carries. McFlurry Kit Kat and the new McFlurry Kit Kat strawberry. And so it says that the McFlurry Kit Kat, which allows you to enjoy the texture of crispy wafers and the exquisite taste of chocolate is back. In addition, this year, the McFlurry Kit Kat Strawberry, which allows you to enjoy the gorgeous scent of strawberries, is also newly introduced. Please try the two types of products you want to eat in the spring. And so that's pretty much it. It's pretty much just like a Kit Kat McFlurry. I guess we'll see what they taste like, especially because here in Japan, we don't really have many McFlurries. Here in Japan, the only McFlurry we have is Oreo. That's the only McFlurry we have. Meanwhile, back in Canada, and I'm looking at the menu right now, we have Cadbury Cream Egg McFlurry. We got Hot Fudge Sundae, Hot Caramel Sundae, Oreo McFlurry, Square McFlurry, Smarties McFlurry. We have the Shamrock Shake. Surprised they're still doing that right now. And then we have obviously the typical milkshakes. We do have the chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry milkshakes, but we don't have all of these other options. And all we have is Oreo over here. So seeing another McFlurry option is definitely great. And definitely more options is always more better. So anyways, let's start with the McFlurries before they melt. So let's start with the regular Kit Kat McFlurry. So let me remove the lid. And so obviously, as you can see, you have a normal McFlurry. So it's like vanilla ice cream. You have your Kit Kats in there, starting to melt a little bit and it's starting to mix. So let's mix it a little bit better and then see what this tastes like before it completely melts. Cause it's been sitting here for like five minutes and it's very hot today. All right, let's again. Ah, fuck. This is very good. Hmm. You definitely get the delicious Kit Kat. You can taste the wafers very clearly. And you get the delicious vanilla ice cream that you normally get at McDonald's. Mm. I think McDonald's vanilla ice cream is really good. Mm. All right, let's put that to the side. Definitely very good. And the interesting thing is, I I'm not sure how much volume you get in this because you know the normal McFlurry cup, it's a little bit taller, a little bit thinner. So I don't know if the volume density of this thing is equal to like, let's say if I got an Oreo McFlurry. It would've been interesting if I got an Oreo McFlurry to compare. Hmm. That's so far, this is very good. <laughs> so that's the Oreo McFlurry. And let's try, let's look at the strawberry McFlurry. Surprisingly, this one doesn't look as melted as the other one. As you can tell, you have your vanilla ice cream, it looks like, and then you have the strawberry Kit Kats. So you have a little bit of normal Kit Kat and then strawberry Kit Kats. You can see the little strawberry pieces within the ice cream, and you can see the normal Kit Kat pieces within the ice cream. I'm surprised they didn't use um, strawberry ice cream to go with it as well. That would have been interesting. Mm. So let's mix it a little bit. Yeah, the other one definitely melted a lot more than this one. Not sure why. Anyways, let's try. I guess the other unfortunate thing is, as you can see with this one, as the Kit Kat melts, it sort of blends together the chocolate from the Kit Kat and the vanilla. Here, it looks like even as the Kit Kat melts, it doesn't blend in with the ice cream, which is definitely a loss and a point for that. Mm. Well, let's try it and see what it tastes like. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, really good. 
One more bite. And I'll give you my. Okay, I'll have one more bite. Mm. So what I really like about this is uh, I don't know how, but the strawberry Kit Kat packs a big strawberry punch in your mouth. The moment. The first time I put it in my mouth, I got this big punch of strawberry flavor, which is really good. I guess the reason why they went with vanilla ice cream, because I guess if you put the strawberry ice cream with the strawberry wafer, you get too much strawberry and you might not get that punch of strawberry flavor, which is very good. Mm. And if you check out my actual Kit Kat video, I tried a bunch of Kit Kats, a lot of interesting flavors. And the strawberry flavor one, if I remember correctly, has these little pockets of strawberry juice, which is what I might be tasting right now. And those pockets of strawberry juice just fills your mouth with delicious flavor. Definitely check out that Kit Kat video. A lot of interesting Kit Kats I tried, but this one is really good. Mm. You do get the chocolate from the... You do get the chocolate from the normal Kit Kats. You get the strawberry, you get the vanilla ice cream. It's really good. And so far, looking at it, and from what I'm tasting, you always get a nice handful of strawberry, a nice handful of chocolate with every single bite. So the way they mix this together is definitely doing a great job of giving you a hmm. delicious flavor with every single bite. Definitely, definitely very good. I love strawberry. I don't know what it is. Here in Japan, every single dessert, 99% of the strawberry stuff I've tasted here tastes phenomenal. I don't know what they do to the strawberries, how they grow them or whatever, but the way strawberries are implemented into the desserts here in Japan, always delicious, always pog as fuck. Now we got your apple pies. We got the sakura mochi pie, and then we got the normal blend hot apple pie. Now back in Canada, I really enjoy hot apple pies. My mom as well. My mom loves apple pies. Every time I go by McDonald's, I always buy her. Because in Canada, there's a special for $2, you get two apple pies. And so I always get her that special because she loves her apple pies. And so I want to see how the apple pie fares here in Japan compared to Canada. It just looks like your normal apple pie. As you can find right here. Very crispy, very nice, very golden. All right, let's again. Mm. That was delicious. Tastes like your classic apple pie from McDonald's. Crispy, delicious, golden crust. You get your apples, you get your filling. It's very good. I was a little bit worried that they would like sort of tone down the sweetness a little bit because here in Japan, they don't like an overload of sweetness. So a lot of the sweetness and a lot of desserts I've tried have toned down on the sugar or the sweetness. And that tasted basically exactly as I remember back in Canada. Very good. I do wish they had the two for one with a two for two dollar deal here in Japan or some sort of deal, but uh, I guess different market, different campaigns and stuff like that. So I don't blame them too much for that. Now let's try the Sakura Mochi Pine. This one I'm very interested to taste because I love cherries. Cherries are delicious. Shout out Dr. Pepper. Now we look at the Sakura Mochi Pie. You can see that the you can see that the crust is a little bit more pinkish, a little bit more reddish compared to the other one. It's still the same crispy crust, but let's see what it tastes like. Let's see what it tastes like. Let's see if I can get you a nice little cross section of what I'm eating. Yeah, you can tell the mochi. You can tell the mochi right here. And you can tell the paste is right over here. So you got the mochi and I believe that's a cherry paste. Mm. All right, I'll finish it and I'll get my thoughts. All right, so it tastes pretty good. It tastes all right. I personally am not a huge fan of it. It's all right. It's mediocre. You don't get that big of a taste. You get a little, you don't get a lot of sweetness in it. You don't get a lot of that cherry taste. I barely taste any cherry. So I don't know what the hell I was talking about to cherry. Mostly I could only taste was the mochi. I could taste the crust and the mochi and I couldn't really taste a lot of the paste. And so I feel like that was holding this thing back. So if you're a fan of mochi, if you're a fan of, I believe it might be like cherry red bean paste, then you might enjoy this dessert. But for me, you know, coming from Canada, my desserts need a little bit more sweetness and a little bit more, mm, you know, a little bit more flavor. This thing lacked a lot of flavor, but for somebody who likes a little bit, I don't want to say bland, but a little bit of a more mellow taste of a dessert of a sweet you might enjoy this one but for me i would have wholeheartedly preferred the nice crisp apple pie compared to the sakura mochi one but yeah so that's pretty much everything so let's just give a quick little rundown so we got Kit Kat mcflurry definitely tasted very good i like how the chocolate blends in with the vanilla which is very good definitely packs a punch of chocolatey wafer flavor the strawberry Kit Kat, definitely very good very delicious 
I really love the strawberries. I love the I love the punch of flavor you get with the strawberries. But the unfortunate issue is that when it comes to the McFlurries, they both come in at a price of two dollars and ninety cents, and then three twenty. So depends on you whether the strawberry flavor is worth the additional thirty yen. Well, this one is all right, I guess, in terms of price compared to the other ones. But for me personally, obviously, I love strawberries. Thirty extra yen definitely worth it for the strawberry flavor definitely very good i do wish that strawberry would sort of blend in with the ice cream like the chocolate but you know beggars can't be choosers and then when it comes to the soccer mochi and the apple pie the apple pie tastes exactly how i remember it from canada very good very delicious nice and sweet apple pie and the sakura mochi is a little bit more of a mellow taste if you enjoy mellow sweet if you don't want sweetness then you should definitely try the sakura mochi if you enjoy mochi if you like paste you'll definitely enjoy this one but for me a nice canadian definitely with the apple pie but yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this content hope you guys enjoy these mcdonald's videos i love making them for you guys as you know i get to try delicious sweets and desserts if you want me to try anything else from japan mcdonald's or any other restaurant definitely let me know and i hope you guys enjoy the new setup i've been working around to make things a little nicer my camera changed it and hopefully you guys enjoyed my content if you did make sure to give a like subscribe catch you guys next time peace out <laughs>